uh, Manuel Garcia. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, effectiveness of the cloning process and the use of GMO in the agricultural production in Latin America. Uh, I want to know about what is your opinion. Okay, yeah. I want to know about what is your opinion about the use of the GMOs in the agricultural production in Latin America, specifically in Guatemala and Mexico. The use of the GMO in the agriculture. Yes. Well, you know that the GMO are the, the crops like uh, corn, and it's a controversial, controversial uh, topic because Mexico, the south part of Mexico, is a is a place where, where born the, the the culture of that of the, <laughs> yeah, this crop my 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 so in this case I'm not totally agree about the use of this. Of this corn, I'm not totally agree about the use of corn in these places because you know we have um, the advantage of the use of transgenic corn. You can increase the production. You can affect the demand, but. We are making, we are, we are uh, doing more uh, vulnerable and uh, another problem, for example, what, what will happen with, when the, um, these crops are susceptible to a uh, uh, pest and what will happen with all the crops are uniform one um, one kind of thing is to be bad for the I'm not sorry for this reason. Okay, um, that's in, in your opinion, the GMOs have more disadvantages than benefits to the producers of corn. Software. GMOs have, have more advantage than disadvantage for the production because they, when you in, in your field, you can increase three or many times the production per, per year. So, but what happened with the environment and the economical system? We don't we don't take it, it in account the environment. Um, with the GMO, you the balance of the the varieties or species in the that naturally are for to raise. Um, I want to know about what do you think that happens in your country if people decide to use the GMOs and change the conventional methods to adapt to this technology. I can hear. Uh, I want to know about what do you think that happened in your country if people decide to use the GMO species uh, to produce uh, their food and uh, what, what happened with the conventional methods of produce What will happen with the conventional method of growth? Yes. Uh -huh. they, they need to change to change it in order to adapt to this technology? I'm sorry, <laughs> can you repeat me? Do you think the producers, the producers need to change the conventional method of uh, production in order to use the GMOs? 
because the uh, local producers uh, have no the economical systems in, in order to adapt to this technology. Do you agree with this? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. In my opinion, in my opinion I think mm -hmm. that the most benefits uh, will uh, be for the big companies and the local producers have, have no uh, economical systems in order to adapt to the technology. Do you agree with this? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. In my opinion, the most benefits will be for the big companies and the local producers have not the economical uh, capacity to adapt this, uh, their technologies for the GMOs. Do you agree with this? Yeah. You know? I am. I have my my position in this case about the GMOs are gifts to a big company like Monsanto, for example. And in this case, my opinion is that the big companies are or are earning more money with these technologies than the than farmers. Because the farmers have, if you if you can control the food of the country, you, you can control their their economies. So in this case, if the farmers um, are in the future, they would be a, like a, a slave of the big companies. They only need to buy the products from. Become all the package of technologies. In this case, uh, I guess uh, big companies are the more beneficial for this technology than the than that. That's my opinion. Okay, and uh, do you know something about the uh, controversial about the GMOs and the human health? Because people think that uh, yeah, they use it. Yes? Yeah. The last week about these controversial topics. Because that's a, uh, based in the study of Seralini, he, 
Neil assume he is talking about uh, uh, some rats present some kind of tumors of cancer in the when they consume of the stall. I'm not a stall, it's so much studies. Uh, the food and uh, are, uh, have different support of transgenica. And some some scientists say that yeah you can you can eat a, a GMOs and eat that good but I'm not sure totally I'm not sure I will not prepare it uh, if I have the option to eat uh, a transgenica product or uh, or we choose the organic product because it's uh, it's my opinion it's my, it's my point of view but officially uh, scientific is not uh, they don't have the sufficient amount of proof uh, to say that and gym owls are bad for that you're healthy that's my opinion okay uh, you say that uh, this technology needs to be tested before to introduce in uh, the uh, production of food in our systems I'm so sorry, I can't you say, hear you. <laughs> you say that uh, the scientific need, scientists need to test this technology before to introduce yeah, they need to. in the production. Yeah, yeah, like all technologies, you need to prove be, uh, before before to expand to the all the country or to the farm, you need to test that these new techniques or new technology um, is good for the environment, is good for the health, is good for the economy, for the production. Well, I guess that the GMO need more investigation about the the causes and the Effects environment. Okay. Okay, that's uh, all about the interview. And thanks for uh, your attention and your um, okay. help. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Bye.